the stage right now. Corey! Corey! Coming up to the stage right now, the RVA comic that loves America the most. Here he is, Mr. Jacob McFadden! What's up? Where's your damn shirt? He's Wolverine. Where's your damn shirt? Normally I wear a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> hey, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Yeah. Seven inches. Yeah. You guys got your milk and eggs? Milk and eggs, Corey, milk and eggs. Yeah. Corey, Corey, only gay guy in the room. Got milk and eggs? Milk and eggs. Milk and eggs, Corey! Yes! Oh, that's great. Good. Good for you. <sighs> Snow tomorrow. Seven inches. Yeah, you're the only gay guy in the room. Look around. Look around. Oh, that guy's wearing a purple shirt. Look at that guy. This is what I What are you doing? What are you doing? Shut the fuck up, Tim. <laughs> Just tell people to shut up. That works. <laughs> Alright, you gotta be a fucking expert to buy anything, right? Yeah. Like all technology? What the fuck? Does anyone know how to operate a fucking camera anymore? No. Uh, There's 35 fucking options on every camera. An $80 camera, and I gotta figure out how many fuck- I don't even know what it is! And no one knows what the fuck it is. It's the same with the goddamn computers. What does .1 gigahertz do? No one knows! But it's 50 fucking dollars! And there's some guy in here who's gonna tell me after I'm off stage, Wait one gigahertz, and, and you know what? This will really speed up your processing and allow you to run several other things. About fuck you! No, it doesn't. <laughs> you don't know shit. It's an extra one. You just assume it does extra. It doesn't do fucking anything. And even the salespeople don't know what the fuck it does. Everything's there's so much fucking choice now. There's so much fucking variety in everything that we can buy. The salespeople don't know what the fuck they're selling. And you, you're in Best Buy. You pick up the camera. You say, hey man, I just want to take some pictures of my family, we've got a picnic coming up, I want to get a new camera. Will this be able, like, will I be able to get some pictures outside of my family? Sales guy, this is what I'll do. Uh... That's not even real. Oh yeah, 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 right, yeah. It's, it's great for outdoor, indoor, and sports shots. And it's got 9 megapixels, and you'll really love that because that's how clear the photo is. Um, <laughs> yeah, right back here. Just check that out. You know, you see right here. It's it's great for indoor shots <laughs> um, and outdoors. So I mean, even if you take it outside for frisbee or you know cricket or something, <laughs> All right, it's a great camera. But we got another one over here. It's like twenty bucks more expensive, and uh, it's eight point one megapixels. So you get that much of a better photograph. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a miserable person. I hate myself. I date broken women and try to fix them. My therapist says I only end up fixing myself. I don't know if I believe her. Uh, you know, when people say that they aren't miserable, I say, oh, everyone's miserable. We're all miserable, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly! One person will always say no. <laughs> I just assume they're trying to brag. <laughs> they're all liars who are secretly miserable, and they're trying to brag by saying they're not. Fuck you, you're as sad as the rest of us. You have problems, your life's not great. That's bullshit, you fucking know it, Trista. <laughs> you know it, I know it, you have problems. We're all sad, and you're sad too. So enough with that bullshit. We're all fucking miserable. Oh my god. Shut up! Don't you oh my god me! This is my fucking show! Oh, it's Tim? Oh, you definitely shut the fuck up! 
Your dog shit my house this morning. I now have problems. Goddamn right you do. I'm gonna traumatize the shit out of you. Hey. Hey. I'm seeing a new therapist. Anyone who saw my set three weeks ago knows I had to fire my therapist after she laughed at me. Quick recap, I've been trying to make her laugh for five months. I go in, she has standard therapist question when you walk in the room. Jacob, how are you doing today? And I go sit in the chair and I go, oh, I need help. She laughs. I wasn't kidding. That's bullshit. So I got a new therapist. And we had our introductory client therapist meeting. I told her about myself. Hated on myself as I. Yeah, I'm apt to do. Hey. And she said, Jacob, your feelings are worth validation. Somebody's getting fucked. Right. I'll tell you right now. That's my sexy dance. Oh, yeah. I do a lot of therapy. Lots and lots of therapy. I mean a lot of women in therapy. You want to hear my best pickup line, everybody? Yes. yes. Yeah, sure. I saddle up next to this fine young lady right here, and I go, oh, I hate group therapy, too. It's such a drag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, group therapy is the worst. <laughs> My problems are pretty petty compared to the history of human life. Thirty years ago, people lived in constant terror of complete nuclear annihilation. I am very preoccupied with what channel I turn my TV off on. God forbid I turn it on and it's on something embarrassing when it loads up. Tim's here tonight. Now everyone thinks I'm just a foodie. Every time I turn on my TV and have a girl in my house, it's Fat Chef. Thanks, Tim. Everyone thinks I'm a fat chef at it. You try getting laid when everyone thinks you fucking love Fat Chef. Come home and turn on my TV and, oh, ooh, Fat Chef is starting. Thanks, Corey. I need your laugh. I'm pretty simple. I assume that all of my problems come from the fact that I'm not having enough sex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this guy right here, he's my bookkeeper. I call him up every time I have sex. I give him a name, address, just in case I want to go back. Height, weight, pussy color. Purple, pink, or red? Got to pick. It's always one. Never purple. Ladies don't like that joke, but all the guys in the room really like. <laughs> It is one. Core is black. He came out of a purple one. What? You know how much all of us hate thinking about coming out of our mother's pussies? Corey hates it twice as much. Corey's gay. Did I make that clear in front of myself? The only one, apparently. The only gay. Uh, what do these note cards say? Yeah, I haven't had any sex lately. I'm getting uh, getting a little picked up. The other day in class, I got a boner randomly. That has not happened to me in a long ass time. Like, since fifth grade. <laughs> but it makes more sense now. Because the bitches are a lot sexier these days than they were in fifth grade, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Woo! Not like an 11 year old in leggings, but when you see a 19 year old in leggings with a whole bunch of booty to back it up, arrow. Yeah, Tommy McPhail knows what I'm saying. He's getting uncomfortable. For those who don't know, Tommy McPhail, expert in booty, his girlfriend's got a lot of booty. A lot of booty. Corey, you like booty? The only gay! The only! Watch, watch me dress up to a straight man. Evan, you like booty? Yes. Ah, you, the lady from earlier. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. You like booty? Yes. Say it louder. Yes. He loves booty. Still, real booty. Ivan, is it true? Corey, do you like booty? 
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See? We don't all love booty, so let's not make declarative statements like that. All right, let's not assume it's a diverse culture. You as an Asian uh -huh. should know that. <laughs> I respect your ethnicity's thick eyebrows. Has <laughs> 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 so I had sex in a while? Yes. I'm taking all the prerequisite actions. I had to clip my toenails and like... That's three weeks. Ooh. 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 I haven't shaved my balls in like three weeks. The first two weeks were hell. The third week, pretty smooth sailing. <laughs> Today, no deodorant. Right? I don't expect to get laid anytime soon. I'll just fucking walk around, no deodorant. <laughs> All right. I'm at a note card. I wrote my set just for this. A little short. I thought I should write a set. Someone shout out a topic. I'll riff. Brain tumors. Brain tumors? <laughs> that guy was a terrible comic. No, oh, the room. Ooh, I just lost everybody. I insulted a person with a brain tumor. Don't worry, he won't live long enough to suffer deep psychological scars from it. Uh, he's a rape victim. He's used to trauma. I'm gonna turn everybody. I'm gonna make sure none of you are laughing. Schizophrenic, he might not even hear me right now. He might be in a conversation. <laughs> oh, that's the problem. Maybe that went too funny. Plus, there's a gay black guy chuckling to it. Gonna make everyone around him laugh. Give me another topic. America. Hey, I love America. Rich McCarty loves America the most. <laughs> Nothing to say about that. Just love America. <laughs> Next topic. Outer space. Whoa, that's way out there, right? <laughs> like, it is far away. It's gonna take like a rocket ship to get there. That's nuts. Woo! Hey, Virginia offering tax credits, income tax credits, to those who agree to have their remains sent into space. That's true. You don't know about that? Learn more about your fucking state, dude. Be more attuned to local politics. But that is true, yeah. If you're gonna have your remains sent into space, you get a big tax credit. Cool. Oh my god! What happened? What happened? My father doesn't know your name. He's met you eight times. It's fine. Uh, oh, it's fine. Her. Yeah, yeah. Trista. Trista. Alright, one more topic and then we're gonna bring James back to the stage. Apple Doctor Who! Apple my little pony! Tim! I'm ignoring this whole side of the room because that's ridiculous. You already got one, but I will say this. Even if you're a small time communist, you're still a big time cocksucker. Alright, what's the next one? Cash up. I didn't know what to say about that. <laughs> Honestly, she's a little hot. She would look great spread out across the hood of a Trans Am, okay? <laughs> Maybe while a uh, White Snake song play. <laughs> little glitter spurt out of her vagina. Yeah. All over my upper lip. What's up, buddy? Beer. Beer? Oh, love a beer. Try the shock top upstairs. It's only three fifty now that happy hour's over. Three fifty, you're saying? What a great saving! It is. It is a great saving. Does the owner of the bar, Morgan? Oh, not Morgan. Robert. Oh, hey. He called me. He called me Jason on my last tab. So fuck him. You hear that? You hear that, Robert? By the way, can I get a beer waiting when I come up there, buddy? Yeah, you're the best. Bring it to your stage right now, your host for the night, James Brooks! Jacob McFadden! I'm gonna go put my shirt on. Good. Thank you, God! Yeah! That was good! Give him a round of applause, seriously, one more time. Yeah. Just did. Just did. That's 
to style. All right, coming up right now, a man, great guy. Follow him on Twitter, because it's great. And he's actually the director of the Nicki Minaj Home for Wayward Girls. <laughs> Mr. Chris Martin, everybody! You have to bear with me. I met someone, so now I'm dealing with phenolethylamines flooding through my brain. It's kind of like getting whacked on the head with a two by four, but more pleasant. <laughs> I'm always nervous when I do stand-up comedy. I'm nervous, more nervous than a US Navy dolphin searching for Iranian mines in the Strait of Hormuz. More nervous than Janine Garofalo walking by a Brazilian waxing salon. <laughs> But I'm also excited, how excited, more excited than Chinese chefs at the Westminster Dog Show. <laughs> Valentine's Day. My penis sent my hand a card. My hand tore it up, so my penis cut it off. I would like my penis to be the first to penetrate the vagina of a VCU football cheerleader. Because I think that would be the, equivalent, the Richmond equivalent of being the first man on the moon. Live forever in history. Virginia says it's for lovers. The state has a slogan, Virginia's for lovers. However, it also sanctioned eugenics, arrested black and whites who got married, and it now enshrines discrimination against gays in the Constitution. That was a really important issue I think we need to deal with is the ABC rules against touching strippers. As I said, it's the endorphins people. I had to call the police at 4 o'clock in the morning. Thought it was a big fight. It turns out it was just the people downstairs filming another episode of Real Hot Mess Housewives of Richmond, Virginia. Supreme Court Justice got robbed earlier that day. Nine thieves dressed in black broke into Florida and stole Al Gore's presidency. Doc Brown told me that joke would suck. <laughs> so, the number of Houston we have a problem jokes on Twitter, about 7,867, 522. I'd like to say that Whitney Houston is in a better place. However, she's in New Jersey. <laughs> Bobby Brown immediately called Chris Brown to get his list of beat freaks. Chris Brown was all over the Grammys, like bruises all over Rihanna. Chris Brown won the best rhythm, black and blues album at the Grammys. Rihanna Used to be she had to have ice packs after performing with Chris Brown. Now all she has to, well, she has to worry about is Coldplay. <laughs> I watched the Grammys and I still don't know who won the best comedy album. So basically it's a case of fuck my life. <laughs> the Grammys were kind of indifferent. I really couldn't get too excited about them. In fact, I think the host, LL Cool J, not only should he go back to Cali, I think he should also go back to Mali. Uh, going back. Uh, yeah. An 80s joke there for you people. I roll Mali all the time. So, I was less excited about the Grammys, or I grew less excited about the Grammys faster than Tony Bennett losing an erection. <laughs> 
Bruce, Spring, Bruce Springsteen opened the Grammys asking the musical question, why don't I just give all my money to poor people and shut the fuck up? Diana Ross was excited. She, had been, she was more excited than she was when she used to stab the Supremes in the back. <laughs> Paul McCartney closed out the Grammys asking the musical question, where is Mark David Chapman when we really need him? He was more excited than uh, he was when he used to stab the Beatles in the back. <laughs> I really thought that uh, instead of Lady Annabellum presenting the, uh, presenting the uh, award for best album, I think it should have been Lady Reconstruction. <laughs> Heavy D won the Grammy for best tweet from beyond the grave. Nicki Minaj just basically summed up with this. More proof there isn't a God. Oh, what's her name? The blues name. Etta James is, is dead and Nicki Minaj is still alive. In fact, Nicki Minaj was so bad that uh, Don Cornelius threw himself in front of a soul train in heaven. Drake had a big announcement to make. I thought he was going to tell us who shot Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls, but he didn't. It was kind of a letdown. <laughs> in order to get up, get ready for Katy Perry's performance, I put on a pair of fake breasts. They had a Beach Boys reunion, which personally I don't think it's a Beach Boys reunion unless the Wilson brothers' father, Murray, comes out and beats him with a belt. <laughs> Several bands performing. Beach Boys songs, and in one of them, somebody put a Woody and a Surfer girl, and I'm kind of wondering where that's legal. Jack Black appearing in front of the Grammys, talking about indie cred, which personally I wonder whether he has any after God's, God's no, King Kong. King Kong and Gulliver's, Gulliver's Travels. Alicia Keys, no, Jay-Z Jay Jay and uh, uh, who's the guy? Uh, Kanye West were not there. They were too busy counting their money. Alicia Keys won the, uh, Alicia Keys presented the Rick Ocasek Award, went to Swiss Beats. You understand that joke? You spent too much time listening to any music. Bruno Mars was all up in people's Uranus. <coughs> Turns out that thing that grows on top of Donald Trump's head reproduced and is now living on top of Bruno Mars' head. The Foo Fighters won five Grammys and they also performed, which shows that the American dream is still alive. A mediocre garage band can actually perform and win a Grammy. I don't have a big closer, so I'm just gonna open my zipper and expose myself. My name is Chris Martin. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the stage, your host. His name I've forgotten because, as I said, I'm overdosing on phenylethal means. James Brooks! Be sure to check the wait staff. Thank you very much. James! 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 This open mic happens every week. week at Pi on Saturday, around 8 o'clock. So come back next week, we'll be here again. And the person that does the show probably won't bomb as badly as I did. James Brooks, for God's sake! All right, um, hold on. James! Get her out here. Sorry. Yes, you did. Smoking a cigarette. Jesus Christ. Let's go, guys. Chris Morgan, everybody! Woo! Sweet. Okay. All right. Coming up next, it's a great guy. I've said that about everyone because we're all great people. Yeah. Um, coming up right now, Americans. A great people. Shut up. <laughs> coming right now, the man. 
the legend, David Marie Garland, a.k.a. DMG! Woo! DMG! 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 So it's Grammy season! Yeah. Hey! I just graduated from Sandwich recently! Woo. I mean college! I tell you, it's a horrible time to graduate from college because the economy is so horrible. There's no bowls of soup out there. I'm sorry, I mean jobs, there's no jobs out there. Hey, I'm in a Grateful Dead cover band, me and my friends, but we only play originals. I know you're saying that's not a Grateful Dead cover band. Fuck you! <laughs> knock knock! Who's there? I'm joking! <laughs> hey. hey! Now that you know me, you love me, alright? <laughs> but seriously. The pepper fell. <laughs> Martial law was invented by the guy that Marshall Lamps are named after. <laughs> Thurgood Marshall! <laughs> I went into the bathroom the other day and I had two kinds of soap lemongrass and basil and coconut and warm ginger what am I gonna do wash my hands or make some sort of Southeast Asian Asian dish <laughs> the other day I went to wash my hair and my shampoo was called linguine and clam sauce Speaking of shampoo, have you noticed that shampoo and salad dressing are becoming interchangeable these days? Yeah, I find that. I have, I have you ever? Wait, shampoo and salad dressing are interchangeable these days. That's right. You do something with them. God damn it. I think they should make a TV show about a guy who confuses. Sir Isaac Newton with Paul Newman. He'll be sitting around the dinner table and he'll say to his youngest son, Charles, he'll say, Charlie, can you please pass the Sir Isaac Newton salad dressing? <laughs> what? That's crazy. Have you ever taken a shower before and reached for what you think is a shampoo but it turns out to be salad dressing? Why do you have salad dressing in your shower? What's the difference between shampoo and salad dressing anyway? I don't know. This is my A material. Thank you. Hey, have you ever gone to a restaurant before and the waiter asked you if you want shampoo or salad dressing, but you thought he said soup or salad? That's weird. Have you ever gone to a restaurant before with your mom and you hear someone at another table order the exact same thing that you're about to order so you know you gotta quickly reread the menu and find something else to order because you don't want to order the same thing that someone at another table just ordered because that's embarrassing. <laughs> have you ever driven across the bridge before and halfway across the bridge you put your turn signal on to make the person behind you think you're gonna drive off the bridge? <laughs> I know a gay guy named Alan. And he's the homo, which is short for homeowner. I'm joking, he's gay. You guys, I'm Irish. I think they're all the jokes I remember. <laughs>